We're still stuck on 49 slots to fill to complete our Lincoln Scent album collection. Let's hope box number 18 can get us just one or two steps closer. Hello, and welcome back to TL Treasures. We've got our 18th penny box of the series that we're going to go ahead and hunt, and with 49 slots left to fill, I'm really hoping we can find something other than what we've already got in our collection. So let's go ahead, we'll pop the top on this, see if we have any enders, make sure everything is circulated. Oh, and we've got an ender right here, reverse facing. Everything does look extremely circulated, so I'm hopeful this is going to be a good hunt. So let's go ahead and get on rolling. Roll number two. We've got our first weed of the hunt. It's going to be a 1945 Philadelphia. Roll number three. We've got our second wheat find. It's a 1957 Denver. We'll take it. Still on roll three. We've now got three finds already. We've got a 1944 Denver. Roll number five. We've got our first 2009. That's going to be a formative years. So let's go ahead, toss it under the scope, and see if we can find something. All right, we're back with that 2009 formative years. And that does look a little off, a little weird. I don't know if that's just damage or... Or what's going on? I, I guess I'll have to look it up, see if I can figure that out. If anybody else knows or thinks it's just damage, go ahead and leave a note in the comments and we'll go from there. Roll number six has given us our first four and find of the box. It's got quite a bit of corrosion on it. Kind of worn down. If I get it in the light just right, we can see it a little better. And it looks like we're going to have a 1983. Still on roll six, we've got our fourth weed of the hunt. We've got a 1953 Denver. Wheat scent number five, roll number eight, 1956 Denver. Let's keep on rolling. Roll number 10, and we've got our second foreign, and it's going to be a Canadian again. 1994. Roll 10, and we've got a 2009 Denver. This one's going to be a presidency. We'll take it. Roll number 11. We've got our third Canadian scent. It's going to be a 1979. Still on roll 11. And we've got wheat penny number 6. We've got a 1946. Philadelphia. Still on roll 11. We've got another 2009. And another formative years. Roll number 12, we've got a 2009 Denver. This one's going to be the professional life. Roll 16, we've got our unknown weed ender. So let's go ahead, we'll crack it open, see if it's got any friends with it. Alright, so here we are with our unknown weed ender. Let's see, we've got a 1945 Philadelphia. And while I did fan everything out, I did notice... We have another one right back here. And this one's going to be a 1946 Philadelphia. Pop through really quick. I don't think there's going to be any more. And nope, that was it. Either way, two wheats in one roll. We'll take it. Halfway through the box, roll 25. We've got ourselves a reverse facer. Let's see what we can get. Quite a bit of corrosion, but it looks like it's going to be a 1945. Looks like a Philly. Check for that mint mark. And yep, it's a Philly. We'll take it. Roll 25 also gave us two more Canadian cents. We've got a 1983 and a 1986. Roll 26, we've now come up with 10 wheat scents. This one's got quite a bit of corrosion on the back. Looks like it's going to be a 1953 Philadelphia. 
Let's keep on rolling. Roll 27. We've got Wheat Penny number 11. It's going to be a 1947. Roll 28 also gave us two more Canadian finds. We've got a 1986. We've got a Centennial 1867 and 1992. Roll 29. We've come across the 1948 Philadelphia. We'll take it. Still on roll 29, and we found ourselves another wheat. Hmm, this is definitely going to be our oldest find of the box. We've got a 1927 Philadelphia. I'll definitely be taking that one. Let's keep on rolling. Roll number 30 gave us three Canadian finds. We've got a 1971, a 1985, and a 1987. Roll 31. We've got ourselves a 1956 Philadelphia. Still on rule 31, we have another 2009 and another formative years. Rule 36 is going to give us three more Canadians. We've got two 1981s and a 1986. Let's keep on rolling. Rule 39, and we have a 2009 Denver. Looks like we've got a presidency. We'll take it. Roll number 40 gave us two more Canadian finds. We've got a 1989 and a pretty decent looking 2010. Let's keep on rolling. Roll number 41, and we found a 1956 Denver. I already went ahead and checked to see if we had that D over Shadow D, and we didn't. Roll 42 is gonna give us another wheat find. And we have another 1956 Denver. We'll take it. Roll 46 gives us another wheat find. We've got a 1951 Denver. And I'm pretty sure that's the first 51 that we've gotten. We'll take it. Roll 47. We've got another one. This one's going to be a 1957 Philadelphia. Also on roll 47, we got two more Canadians, a 1981 and a 1984. Roll 48, and once again, we've got two more Canadian finds. We've got a 1982 and a 2001. All right, well, that's the end of the hunt. Let's go ahead and do our quick little recap and see what our finds were. Our oldest find overall was a 1927 Philadelphia. As far as the 40s went, we had eight finds in total. And with the 50s, we had nine. Now for 1959s, we had 10 finds in total. And 1969 San Francisco, we had two. Of course, none of them being the DDO. For our 2009s, we had seven finds in total. And with our Canadians, we had 23. Which brings our total finds overall to 60. We also have a small little stack here that may or may not be possible upgrades. That 1969 Denver looks pretty promising. Let's go ahead, compare our finds to the album, and see what we've got. All right, we're back with our Canadian albums. We didn't have any fillers, but we did have a few upgrades. We're going to upgrade that 1980, as well as the 1986. And over here... We'll upgrade that 1992. That one's just a bit better. Happy to swap that out. Now let's go ahead and see what we have for our Lincoln Sen albums. All right, well, we went ahead. We compared the finds. Of course, we didn't have any fillers. We didn't have any upgrades. Still, we did find that 1927. Pretty nice to find something from the 20s. I already have it. Too bad it wasn't the San Francisco. That's the one I needed from 27. And that 69 Denver that I thought would be an upgrade, the one I have is already right on par. So it wasn't worth swapping anything out. We still got 49 slots to go. There's still more penny boxes to go through. And like I usually say, we will get there eventually. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.